Welcome back. Now that we've found our way around the outside of the computer and even looked at a few settings to get the computer set up just for us, let's start looking at how to be productive with it. A word processor is a very common piece of software. As I've mentioned, it's used for creating things such as letters and novels. It can even be used to create basic posters or flyers. Module 3 of the ESDL covers using a word processor in great detail. In this section, we'll just introduce you to the very basics. The first thing to do is open Word. It can be found along with all the other programs on the Start menu. It should be listed under W for Word. Older versions of Office had all the Office programs grouped together in a folder called Microsoft Office. So if you don't see Word on its own, have a look for Microsoft Office. Once Word is loaded, it will ask what you want to do. Do you want to open an existing document? Any that have been recently opened will be listed at the bottom. Or do we want to create a new document from one of the templates across the top? Down the left, we can click New to delve a bit deeper into the available templates. Or click Open to be more specific about opening an existing file. We'll just open a new do blank document. So click back to Home, then in the top left, blank document. Word is a WYSIWYG or what you see is what you get editor. We are presented with a page which we can edit and however it looks on the screen should be how it will look if we print it out. At the top we have a ribbon with a few menu items above. Click any of the items across the top to see what options there are. Again much more on these in module 3 of the ESDL. The main part of the screen is where we type the document. See the small flashing line? That's called the cursor. It's where any text that you type will appear. If that bar isn't visible and flashing, you won't be able to type anything into the document. As I type on the keyboard, you'll see the letters appear and the cursor move across the page. To close Microsoft Word, click on the red cross in the top right. If you made any changes to the document, entered or changed any text, the computer will ask you if you want to save the current document. Just click No. Word will then close. There are a couple of ways of opening existing documents. The first I pointed out a few moments ago, but let's take a closer look at it. If we open Word using the Start menu, it first asks if we want to open a new document from a template, or if we want to open an existing document from a list of documents that we've recently used. If the document isn't in the recent list, click Open on the left. To find the file that you want to open from the computer, click on the Browse option. This opens the Open dialog box. It works in a similar way to Windows Explorer. The left panel shows us locations and folders. Click on one of them to see the contents listed on the right panel. It defaults to looking in the Documents folder. This is the default location for storing Word files. Click on the file that you want to open to select it. It should appear with a blue highlight once selected. Then click Open button in the bottom right of the window. Once you have reviewed the document, click on the red cross in the top right of the window. Again, if you've made any changes at all to the document, it will ask you if you want to save the changes. I tend to open Word in a slightly different way, particularly if I want to open an existing document rather than create a new one. I'll start by locating the file that I want to open. So I'll open Windows Explorer. Then search through the folders to locate the file. Then I'll double click the file that I want to open. Remember that's clicking the left mouse button twice in quick succession while the pointer is over the file. If this doesn't seem to work, it's normally because the mouse is moving in between the mouse clicks. Make sure to hold the mouse still and try to click a little quicker. Tap tap as quickly as you can. The advantage of doing it this way is that the computer will load whichever application it needs to open the file. So if I double click on a Word file, the Microsoft Word will open with the selected file displayed. Or if I double click on a spreadsheet, the Microsoft Excel will load instead. As long as Windows has an associated program for a file, you can use this method to open any file such as a picture, which loads the picture program, or video file, which loads 
VLC media player in my case. In this video, we have started to look at Microsoft Word, initially looking at how to open Word, either to start working on a new document or to open an existing document. We've had a look at Word's interface, which we'll delve into further in the next few videos. And I showed you how to close Microsoft Word. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.